Hey, this is Swedish Guitar Nerd, and since you asked for it, I'm gonna do an unboxing of this tiny package from Tormann. Uh, I never really understood the point of unboxings, but again, since you wanted it. I think uh, unboxing started with people uh, really trying to show the things uh, as they were when they came, so they can like, use the warranty and just show them that it was broken while in transit. Well, while we're on that topic, my wife is filming by the way. This is how the package looked when it came to my door. So yeah. And I don't think Thorman is to blame. I think uh, wonderful Swedish company Postnord. That's actually a joke. I read it. It's really funny. Uh, Postnord handles like basic uh, yeah, parcel services in Sweden. And uh, there was one guy that wrote somewhere that, oh, I'm, I'm thinking about relicking my guitar. Where can I do that for like not so much money? And everyone was like, post nude maybe? And apparently it worked. So let's see if I can ruin this pack here more. Gig bag. Since uh, I got a package thing, it's <laughs> like a million of these silicone things in that one. Don't want your gig bag to get wet. And so yeah. And in the package there was a gig bag, and this is apparently it. What can I say? It's actually this some kind of very thin padding, but yeah, that's nice. And the strap also came in the package. Music house Thomann. Let's open this. See if it's long enough. Some straps are really too short. Hmm. Maybe you can join an indie pop band now. Yeah. It's kind of short, <laughs> I would say. I wouldn't use an SG with this one. For instance. Hmm. I'll have to try it all. I'll uh, get back to that when I do the package review. Hmm? My holder for upcoming guitar nerd videos. Well, 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 yeah, yeah. Okay, ah. the Holy Benton uh, HB10G broken package. From where it was lying in the package, well, the package, uh, I, I'd say it wasn't broken because of what happened along the way. It was actually broken before it even got into the big package. I'll be right back, sorry. So this is supposed to be... Again, from the package, the smallest, or one of the smaller amps, 10 watt solid state combo with an 8 inch speaker. It's a lot of plastic. about that. The Harley Benton logo is really disgustingly horrible. 
Wouldn't you agree? This font was very cool back in the early 90s. They could change it to anything. <sighs> okay. Manual. Cable. And custom design speaker. Really small. Right one. Apparently there are versions for the American market as well, because there are 120 volts versions. I don't think call events on it. Um, well, they aren't sold under that brand, of course. You can put other brands in front of this guitar amp, and they surely are. Okay, what's next? <laughs> ah, a mic stand. For another upcoming video. I feel like a magician. It never ends. Oh, the pedals are in the very good bottom. Yeah, I think I should do this. Maybe I should plug No, this. just dive in. I'm gonna dive in and plug this in actually. Lights up at least. There's supposed to be a guitar cable down here somewhere. Oh. Oh. Ah, look at this. I found something else. From Planet Waves. This is one of the few non Harley Benton items. Oh, that's what nice. do you like these? That's for our Pride gig. Yes. Surely. I actually got. Ah, okay, let's see. The Ultra Metal Pedal from Behringer, another non Harley Benton. I was supposed to get the British True Sound pedal, but they they didn't have that as a B stock, so I got this. This costs as much brand spanking new and not B stock. So I'm gonna compare it to another pedal deep in this box. Extreme Metal That's the Harley Benton Extreme Metal pedal Manual mm. Yeah, feels very solid It's metal all right, it's metal. So I'm gonna do a comparison. Do you want to be extreme or do you want to be ultra? Who knows? <laughs> Mother Rainbow. Save that for last. Okay, let's go through things you're most interested in then. First, we have this one. the T20 Telecaster. There's a lot of wrapping here. Tools. Well, well, you know what we're doing for the rest of the week. First aid kit. Suppose these are picks and there's a symptoms and solutions. 
Fear of Silent Sounds. Stage Fright and Lead Singer Disease. You know about that one? Okay, new camera, the other one broke down. The sound on this one is really horrible, so I hope you can hear me. Uh, okay, the T20, what can we say? It's a rather interesting neck. It's not even, let's say that. It's like the middle of it it's supposed to be here, it's here. And it seems to have a knot here. So we'll see how this neck works. Quality control passed. We'll see, we'll see. It's a very smooth fretboard. And Holly Benton in gold. Again, the ugly logo, but at least it's in gold. That looks fancy. You can even see that this is a sticker. Can you see that? Well, well. We got this high quality cable in case. It's really thick and heavy duty. Yeah. I actually prefer this output jack to many other tail style output jacks. Is it supposed to work like this? When the bass is turned down, there's no sound in the middle of the show. Perfectly tuned. to the TB-52 that I have. That was the same price range, same kind of bridge. Oh. In fact, neck, it feels smooth, actually. So what do you know? Maybe it's good. T-20. Oh my god, it's nice. Is it empty? So this says B stock all over the place. So this is supposed to be the SC Custom. Sent me something else. One, two, and even more plastic. Get a lot of plastic. So here we have the SC Custom with P90s. Strong with 
the Adario strings. Quality control 376. Uh, I don't know, there is no information about why it's a B-stock guitar. Is it a return or is it. was it broken in some way and fixed? Well, can't tell. So the back looks really nice. Uh, the front, I noticed right away the posts of the bridge aren't really into the body. They are on one side, but not on. Yeah, they aren't. <laughs> Neither of these two are into the completely into the body. That one is just one of one out of four. Oh well, and the paint job is rather uneven. It's not a straight line, and they painted so much black. Um, I think the I mean the binding is probably this deep or even deeper or the same. And they painted over it with black. So. It's not very pretty, is it? And then we have the maple. This is maple fretboard. That actually looks really nice. Yeah. And the binding is probably white from the beginning and then painted yellow to look vintage. So what do you think from this distance? Wilkinson P90s. I think it looks good. Even from this distance. If you look up close you see things but yeah. Let's see if this works. Since again this is a B stock. See if they haven't cleaned it up properly. And this is supposed to be again a maple or the rose acer. But this actually looks like rose with that. Well, well, they say it's maple, it's maple. Mm -hmm. 
This is a much more even line where the paint is actually compared to the other one. It's quite a big arch. I didn't think there would be. I thought it'd be flatter. This is more like the Gibson guitars where it almost goes in before it goes out again. And they say on the webpage that it has a maple top, and I thought that wasn't true. But judging from this scraped binding, this actually is maple. But it's not, it does not look like mahogany. There's some kind of, I don't know, can you see that? The black is all over. Other than that, action super low. Coil tap. Hmm. Or is it the coil split? They all have proper metal output, like housings and everything. Usually, when you find guitars, everything here is plastic. Not on these ones. Even though they're cheap. <laughs> to return your gear not up to your standards okay so here's the snake or is it the snake probably so this comes in the package as well so this is more a more proper cable compared to this one they're almost the same thickness aren't they Bent on picks that again came with a package and they're different gauges. That's nice. See, different colors as well. Oh no, they aren't different weight gauges, they're all the same. 0.8. And finally, instead of strap locks, these are actual fender parts and they cost like nothing. You can do this much cheaper if you buy a beer with you know the rolls all those that have like these on top of the beer caps but Fender also makes these so these are strap locks basically but you don't have to do anything about your guitar so that's it my entire unboxing of everything so stay tuned for all my reviews see you soon bye